Okay, one quick addendum to my chapter 17 macro lecture. Um, wanted to do one quick example of velocity of money. So if you are looking to measure the you know health and well-being of an economy, certainly you can look at things like inflation through CPI index. Um, the big one is GDP quarter to quarter, year over year. Um, or you could do kind of like the Discovery Channel. And you're like, wait, what? Um, I, I get fascinated by these, uh, these people who go out on the ocean and they like tag these great white sharks and then they follow them and wherever they win, they see how fast they move and wherever they do. We can do the same thing as economists only with a dollar. We can tag that joker and follow it through the economy and see if the economy is moving like this. Is that dollar turning over, you know, okay. Is it moving like this? Is it not turning over so well? Or is it moving like that? Where that thing's turned over, that's the health of the economy too. So that's why velocity of money is very, very important. Um, now, we don't literally tag a dollar. We can do it mathematically because we know how much money's out in the economy. We know the general price level in terms of GDP deflator. We can do, we can take inflation out and see what price levels are year to year. Um, and we know how much we buy and sell through GDP. So, um, uh, just a quick example, um, velocity of money is uh, V equals P times Y over M, where V is velocity of money, P is price level, Y is output, which is real GDP, and uh, price level, by the way, is GDP deflator, so we've taken um, the inflation out of the price level. Um, and M is the quantity of money, literally that vertical line from the previous video. Um, is there a money supply? How many dollars we have in the economy? Let's use an example um, that's very, very simple. Uh, let's take a town that only buys and sells pizza. My kind of town. Now, the only thing they do is buy and sell pizza. Um, let's say the price of that pizza is 10 bucks. Um, the output every year of that pizza is 100 um, and there's $50 in the economy. What is the velocity? So V equals question mark. Well, we take V equals 10 times 100, P times Y, divided by 50, which is M, and we get 1,000 over 50, and we get an answer of 20. What does that mean? Okay. Well, each dollar passes through this economy 20 times. That's the speed of this. Okay. Now, a loan, you're like, well, that sounds good. Is it, is it, is it good or not? Well, if last year's number was 15, yeah, it's sped up. If last year's number was 30, it slowed down. So that gives you an indicator. Now, if next year, if this year was 20 and next year you get 30, your economy sped up. If this year it was 20 and next year's 20, it didn't grow. It's the same. Um, if this year's 20 and next year's 18, a little cost for concern is slow down a little bit. So the idea is to follow that economy, or excuse me, follow that dollar through the economy and see how many times it turns over, how many times it's spent. Um, so basically, long and the short of it, very short video, that's velocity of money. Hope it helps.